Hello, I'm Erica Lutz with Education USA, and we're here today with Claudia Bean, the Coordinator for International Recruiting at Eastern Michigan University. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Erica. We're going to talk a little bit about the undergraduate admissions process and what makes EMU stand out from the rest. Could you tell us a few words about EMU? Sure. Eastern Michigan University is in Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is in southeast Michigan outside of Detroit right next to Ann Arbor. So if you're looking at schools in Michigan, you might have noticed that U of M, University of Michigan is down the street, Wayne State is in Detroit, and we're in between. We have 24,000 students, of which 18,000 are undergraduate. We have over 1,000 international students from 85 countries, including three students from Belgium. And the town of Ypsilanti also has a population of 24,000. Wonderful. Can you talk to us a little bit about the admissions process? Um, I know that some U.S. students find it cumbersome to be getting <coughs> collecting letters of recommendations and essays and transcripts. Um, I think that EMU stands out a little bit from this process. Could you tell us a little bit about your um, admissions test requirements? Of course. For freshmen, we require the application, the application fee, the transcript, and a test score. So, for example, we base our admission criteria solely on the grade point average, the performance of the student in high school, as well as the test score, which is more often an English proficiency test, such as TOEFL, MELAB, or IELTS, uh, versus the SAT or ACT. So the students really have a choice of one of five tests to take and show us for admissibility. Now I noticed you didn't mention the three cumbersome letters of recommendation <laughs> in the essay. Uh, does that mean these are not required? That's true. We do not require personal recommendations or letters of recommendation or personal statements for our application process. Um, could you speak to us about the, uh, the deadline, the concept of a rolling admissions? I don't know mm -hmm. that all students would know what that means. A rolling admission means that we post a deadline. That is the preferred date for a student to have the application process completed. Those are earlier than the domestic students because you have a lot more to do after you're admitted, getting your visa and packing and everything. Uh, so for fall students who start usually late August, early September, we recommend that the student apply by May 1st, although we post the deadline as July 1st. And that might seem pretty late, but because we have such a streamlined application process, the student can be notified of their admission usually within three weeks of a completed application, and then they still have time to get here for the fall semester. Wonderful. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what um, is it's like to live in uh, the city where mm -hmm. EMU is located? And can you tell us a little bit about um, what kind of a student you're looking for? EMU in Ypsilanti is interesting because it's a suburb of Detroit, and it's also a college town. And it's a college town right next to another college town. So you have all the vibrancy of the students and the professors and the families and the community, but you also have a large city about 45 minutes to the east. So you have your museums, you have your festivals, um, you have all the vibrancy a big city can give you. Um, we do have four seasons a year that are very distinct. So um, you do get to enjoy a little bit of everything. Um, and the town of Ypsilanti connected with Ann Arbor has a very good bus system. Um, however, to get to Detroit or other places in Michigan, a car is a better way to go. Great. And what kind of students are you generally looking for at, uh, at your campus? Mm -hmm. Well, basically, we are looking for students who are high achievers because then we can offer them our scholarship. We offer a scholarship for international students who have a 3.0 grade point average. That's out of a four scale. So from zero to four, a 3.0 or higher freshman would be able to get the equivalent of 14,000 US dollars a year. And that pays for approximately one third of the overall tuition and fees that it costs to go to Eastern. Um, if you compare us to other schools for prices, uh, you'll see that we are lower than most and this scholarship really adds uh, to that um, for the students. Um, we have students from all walks of life. I mean, it's a little bit like Brussels. Uh, when you're walking down the street, you see uh, different people from all parts of the world, different ages, different dress, different languages. And you have a little bit of that at Eastern because we have students from so many countries but also students from all over the United States and students from many different ethnic communities of the United States. So even though we're a suburb, a smaller town, so you're not overwhelmed by the large city, you still get that vibrancy and, and community um, so you're not, you don't feel so isolated and you don't feel like you're the only one who's just like you. There are other people who are like you, um, but those are who are different as well. That sounds terrific. 
You had mentioned that there were three Belgian students currently at, mm -hmm. uh, enrolled in your undergraduate school. Exactly. We have three students from Belgium. One is a uh, male who's a senior studying engineering physics, and he got our scholarship when he was an incoming freshman. He also is on the swimming team, so he has an athletic scholarship. Uh, right now he has a 3.9 grade point average out of four in engineering physics. Uh, we have a brand new freshman uh, who just started also on the uh, girls swimming team. Um, and so we're excited to have her. And we have another student who's on the tennis team. Wow. And you'd mentioned that since you're here in Brussels, that you would actually go visit the parents while you're here normally? Normally I would. Interestingly enough, these three students happen to be from small towns outside okay. of the city. And because my time's limited, I won't be able to visit their families. But usually when I do recruiting for EMU, I try to find out, of course, who the alumni are and, and parents of current students. And I do try to visit with them. Um, and let them know how their students are doing and bring them new information from Eastern. Uh, one example is our new marketing for the year, I Am True EMU. Um, and I'm very proud to wear this shirt uh, on the streets of Brussels today because um, I think that Brussels is uh, just as a diverse place as Eastern. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your answers. And uh, we welcome you back anytime. Okay. Thanks, Erica. Thank you. Bye-bye.